In this video, I will be using PDQ Deploy to package and deploy Adobe Reader. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup and also a video about PDQ setup that I have. And now I will begin this video by downloading Adobe Reader executable installation file. And for that, I will use the link that I have here. And as you can see, it's the download page for Adobe Reader. Here for our operating system, I will select Windows 11. For the language, I will select English. And for the version, I will select the only one that is available. And then I will click on Download Acrobat Reader. Then I will go to my Downloads folder and wait for my executable. And now that I have my executable, I will right click on it, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows environment. Here I will open File Explorer because I will be placing the executable in a network share that is accessible to my computers. And for that, I will click here and enter my file server name. It's SRV02. I will go inside of the software share and here I will create another folder called Adobe Reader. I will go inside of it and here I will place the executable. And now that we have our executable here, we can start creating our deployment package. And for that, I will go to PDQ deploy. I will right click on the packages and select new package. I will name the package Adobe Reader. Then let's click on steps, install. Here we need to provide our executable installation file. So I'll click here, go to my file server once again software share, Adobe Reader folder, and select the executable here. And now we need to provide silent switches for the silent installation. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page and copy all the necessary silent switches from here. Then I will go back to my PDQ deploy. I will enter the silent switches here. And as you can see here, we have the command line that will be executed on the client machines. And that's basically all that we need to do for this package. Now let's save it. Let's close this window right here. Let's select the package here and let's click on deploy because now we can test the deployment. I will click on deploy once. I will select my ta targets by selecting on choose targets, then go into Active Directory and computers. Here I will be selecting client 01 and client 02. Let's click on this button. The clients appeared here. Now let's click OK and let's click on deploy now. Now we need to wait a bit. And it seems that the deployment is over. Here we can see that it was successful on both of my client machines. Now let's double check by going to one of the client machines. Here we can see our desktop icon for Adobe Reader. I will double click on it and it seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.